In today's Your Healthy Family, we're drilling a little deeper into a story we first brought you yesterday at 5 that UC Health, University of Colorado Hospital in Aurora, treated its first COVID-19 patient with a blood product called convalescent serum. The laboratory here at University of uh, Colorado Hospital and then uh, research laboratories on the campus are collaborating to uh, develop several different uh, blood tests to test for these antibodies or the immune response to the virus. And so we're hoping with uh, the collaboration between the research side and the, the clinical laboratories that we could have a, a, a serum test available for people, uh, hopefully in a, in a short period of time, we're hoping weeks. Trying to quickly come up with effective treatments as a vaccine is being developed is just one of the many challenges with COVID-19. So there's several things that have made COVID-19 challenging to treat. And I think one of the things that's uh, perhaps the most challenging is just how fast it's spread and emerged. Uh, you know, the if you look back uh, over just a couple of months, how quickly this has become such a major medical problem across the entire world is astonishing actually. The good thing about the convalescent serum approach is that it's been used before. Previous uh, virus uh, outbreaks or pandemics, uh, people have been faced with the same question of, can you take the serum from someone who's recovered and potentially provide it to someone who's sick and see if they improve? So this was done with the influenza outbreak in, in 1918, this was done uh, also with the original SARS epidemic uh, in China back in 2002 and 2003. It was also done actually in the Ebola outbreak in Africa. And there's some data that, uh, that convalescent serum may have helped some people. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin.